everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my 12 Days of Christmas series. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the Coffee Cup A2 Size Folded Card Die Set from the Stamps of Life to make a fun and easy card with a gift card. So for the holidays, it's obviously traditional to do some gift giving and a lot of times we give gift certificates to coffee shops like Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts or whatever local coffee shop you may have in your town. So these kinds of gifts are good for teachers, coworkers, your mail carrier, if you're doing a secret Santa exchange and you need to have a gift for that. So you can easily make a coffee shaped card and use it as a gift card holder as well. So this die set comes with three pieces. You have your large piece, which makes your A2 size card base. Now, if you were using this die on just a maybe a scrapbook page or even on a card front, this would be your shadow layer. And then you have this die, which cuts all of these little pieces. You can actually paper piece different pattern paper together to make the front of your coffee cup. Now you can also use this as a hot chocolate cup as well. And then you have this circle die, and if you layered it in here, it will cut out a circle within your coffee cup. Or you can just use it as a circle die and layer a sentiment on like you see here in the example. So starting out, we're gonna make our card base. So for the card base, I'm just gonna take a piece of white cardstock and I'm gonna fold that in half. And you can choose to have your card open from the top. And if you chose to have it open from the top, you would place the fold in your cardstock immediately below the die. If you wanted to open from the side, you would place the fold in your cardstock immediately to the right of the die. I am going to have mine open from the top, so I'm going to place it there slightly above my cardstock, and I'm gonna add some washi tape and run that through my die cut machine. And here's my card base. Now this is an A2 size card base, so it will fit in an A2 size envelope. Now, notice that the top here is quite flat. So we're actually missing some cardstock here because it actually cut some of that off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another piece of white cardstock and we are going to run that through our die cut machine again. Let's see if that's big enough. Yep, so the extra piece will be big enough. So I'm just gonna cut this and that will fit perfectly on top of there. So I'm gonna run this through my die cut machine once again, and that will be the piece that we're going to layer on top to fill that portion that was missing. So these pieces will be layered directly on top. So here we have our card base, and then we'll be able to layer that layering piece right on top so we have more of a full effect there of our coffee cup. Okay, so I'm gonna set the card base aside for right now and I am going to decorate this piece. So when we're decorating our coffee cup, we need this die. And this die is going to cut out all these little fun decorative pieces for our coffee cup. So the paper pad that we're gonna use is the Peace Collection from the Stamps of Life. And I've already chosen a paper that I wanna to use to die cut my coffee cup. And it's gonna be this snowflake paper and I've already die cut that. And when you die cut this top layering piece, these are all the pieces that come out. So you have all of these pieces. Now I'm not gonna have my coffee mug to be all one piece of pattern paper. Now you could if you wanted to, but I want to decorate this a little bit more. So I am going to find some other papers to decorate within here because all of these pieces are actually there's cut lines in them, which enable you to cut so that you can paper piece different papers together here to form a more decorative coffee mug. So for the center, where you actually have your holder on your coffee mug, I am going to use this paper. So this is almost like a thick cardboard with some lines in it. And I picked this up at Michael's and I thought that this would be perfect for the center of the coffee mug. So what I'm gonna do is I don't need the top part cut in this paper, I just need the bottom portion. So in order to save paper, I'm just going to place my die and I am gonna put some washi tape on here just to hold this in place. But you can see how I'm just placing my die where I need that cut. I don't need it up here, I just need it starting towards the bottom. 
So I'm gonna tape that down and run that through my die cut machine, but because this is a 12 by 12 sheet, I am going to need to cut some of this off and then run that through. So when that comes out of your die cut machine, I'm just going to snip away the piece that I want to use. And that piece is gonna go right there in the middle. So for the top of my lid, I'm going to die cut a piece of strawberry cardstock, just the top portion to save some cardstock. So I'm gonna run this through my die cut machine just like this. So now I'm going to snip away the pieces that I'm not gonna be using. So right now I'm going to go ahead and ink up some of my edges. So I'm gonna use my ocean ink from the Stamps of Life to ink up the edges here of my ocean cardstock. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole thing just because these other pieces that I'm not gonna use, I can actually save for another project. I'm gonna use the strawberry ink and just ink up the edges of this strawberry cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this entire layer flat to my shadow layer of my coffee mug. I'm not gonna piece away any of these pieces. I'm just gonna lie it flat and then put these other pieces on top of it for added dimension. Now, when I add this piece to my shadow layer, I need to be able to leave room for a gift card. So I have a Starbucks gift card here and I wanna make sure that I'm able to squeeze that right inside of that piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to place that in there and I'm just gonna kind of feel and just so that I know that I don't wanna put any glue past those lines, okay? And everything else is going to be adhered. So even, even when you are adhering the top portion, you just want to put glue on the edges and then glue down the entire piece here, but not right here in the middle. So hopefully that makes sense. I'll go ahead and go through that so you guys can see. So I'm gonna flip this over. I'm just gonna kind of put my finger on that because I can't see that line from the back side, but you can see how I'm just putting glue there along the side. I'm gonna put glue along this bottom because that gift card is not gonna hit this bottom portion. And then just here along the side, along the side, and then up here along the side as well. Okay, and then we're gonna put glue just along this top flap. Okay, and then we'll adhere that down. So now if you take your gift card, you'll be able to, you gotta be careful because some of these pieces are not fully pressed down. Because remember there are these little cut marks in this, so you have to be careful with that. Okay, so now that gift card will fit perfectly within there. So for this top piece, now you could, if you wanted to, layer that whole thing on top but because this line is so thin and trying to get it exactly right for this piece, it might be a little difficult to do because you might actually see some of that other piece in the background. So I'm not gonna use this entire piece. I think what I'm gonna do is just trim away some of this so that I can just leave this back part and I'm just going to use this border piece. Now all these other pieces I can save. And I'm just going to ink up more of that. And I'm just gonna use that border piece right along there. And I can actually glue this entire piece down because this other piece is what's not glued fully and that's what the gift card's gonna go behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue along this entire border. And that just adds a nice accent. So I'm gonna use some ginger snap ink just to ink up this piece of cardstock. Again, just some added dimension. And then we will add that to our card. 
Now, if you wanted to use this piece, you can tuck that back in there, but we're gonna have this gift card here, so I want it to leave it off because that way it'll look like it's an open cup with the gift card inside. So using my snowflake die, and this is a snowflake die from the Stamps of Life October card kit, and you can use any snowflake die, or you can use a stamped image, or you can put a sentiment here, but I'm choosing not to put a sentiment. If you wanted to put a sentiment, you can always die cut your circle die that comes with this set and put a circle and stamp a sentiment in here, or if you wanted to put one of your, maybe a snowman stamp or something, you can put on top of that. But I'm just going for a simple look. I wanted to stick with the snowflake, so I die cut out of the strawberry cardstock and also out of some um, silver glitter paper. And I'm going to layer these snowflakes up. So this first one, I'm going to adhere flat to the coffee cup. So we're gonna lay that flat. And I did strategically place it so that the two points are going this way so that when I layer on my silver snowflake, I can have a point in the middle. So it's it'll be like every other one will have the point, You've got red, silver, red, silver, so on and so forth. Now, the silver one, I'm not gonna adhere the whole thing. Instead, I'm just going to put glue right around the center, just like that. Because this will have some dimension to it, so I'm just gonna press that down. So then these ends will stick up so you'll be able to see the dimension on there. And then I'm gonna take a red gem and I'm going to just place that right there in the middle. Next, I die cut a small scalloped die out of some strawberry cardstock. And I'm just going to do some embossing on here. So I'm just prepping this with my powder tool. I am going to be using the Warm Wishes sentiment from the Hot Chocolate to Stamp set. And I'm going to stamp this out with my Versamark ink. And then I'm gonna use some white embossing powder. and sprinkle that on. And then I'm gonna use my heat tool to melt that embossing powder. Next, I'm gonna take this entire layer and I'm going to add some glue to the back and I'm going to add it to the card base. So make sure that the bottom is even because remember the top is not gonna be even. It's gonna be a little bit shorter. So just make sure that bottom is even and you'll be all set to go. And just press that down really well. Next, I'm gonna take some twine and I am going to add this around this entire layer. And then I'm gonna take my tag and I'm gonna put it through the hole. Now I did have to use my crocodile just to make this hole a little bit bigger because otherwise this thicker twine was not gonna go through this small hole. Okay, so we're gonna scoot that up and try and get this so that it's off to the right side. And then we're just going to tie this in a bow. And then we're just gonna cut off these pieces that are fraying a little bit. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is add our gift card. So we can take our gift card and we can just pop it right inside. Just be careful because remember these pieces were not adhered fully, so you can see how it's peeking out here. So you have to be really gentle, otherwise you might tear your cardstock and just try and get it down in those layers. Just like that. Isn't that adorable? I don't like the, um, what is this? This little sticker that's on there. So I think I'm gonna switch this and put that down inside just like that. And that's so cute. So you have your, your coffee cup with the gift card and then you can write your message on the inside. And isn't that adorable? That would make for such a really cute gift for a coworker, a teacher, a friend, anybody in your life. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know and be sure to subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so that you don't miss out on the next video in my 12 Days of Christmas series. Have a great day, everyone, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.